Everybody, welcome back to VBAC because I want to make a tier list of basically every single like relevant unit. Basically, this is all Apex, all Nightmares, and then I went through all the other categories and basically all the relevant ones and all the other ones that I was confident that I could like rank easily. So yeah, there's a lot of units in the game and there's a lot of good ones and a lot of ones that aren't. And I'm going to rank them the best I can. I'm not perfect. Definitely not. I don't own even every single tower because owning every single tower, that's a lot. But I do think there are some like actual decent things, like decent towers here that I might rank not perfectly. So please no hate. But yeah, um, we're going to start with um, my brain. I'm really tired. Words are not wording. Agonized Spring Trap. I'm going to put him in like B tier. By the way, um, S tier is the only one. Well, okay. I'm only going to actually like rank the apexes kind of in order, but all the rest, I'm just going to fill them in the right category. So I'm putting him in B tier. He's actually pretty decent. He's not like amazing, but he is up there for one of the better units. I don't think he's quite A tier, but he's definitely not like below B as all. He's close to the up of B tier, I would say. Oh, next we have Anima Dude. Um, the thing is, is that he could probably go in either A or B. He would go on the, like the very top of B, but I think we're going to just put him in A because he's such a, he's a, mm, no, I'm gonna put him, mm, this is really hard. He's like right in between the two. I think there's gonna, I think I'm gonna put him in A. He's actually a really good unit for like, like mid game because he's really cheap of only 5,000 and he's able to do actually a good amount of damage. He does have one placement, but a placement for 5,000, that's really good just to place. Next we have Ballora, easy A tier. One of the best boosters in the game, um, tied for like second best cooldown booster, I believe. So like really good booster. Um, next we have Astro Bonnie, literally like best tower in the game, huge DPS, got beautiful amount of splash it's such a good tower and it's not even crazy expensive either um next we got what is this blighted endo bonnie i'm pretty sure but endo bonnie's not horrible not my favorite i'm gonna put him in like b tier because he doesn't have a horrible amount of dps and he's got a decent slow and he's got that 75 percent anti-regen which isn't horrible at all next we have blighted endo freddy I believe he got a buff recently. Yes, I was right. In that buff actually gave him about 5,000 DPS AOE. That's not horrible at all. He's just not the best. Um, I think I'm going to put him at like top of C tier. He might go in B, but I just don't own him and I don't use him enough. But he's not a bad tower at all. He's just, I don't know. He's just not there, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to word it. Um, I'm going to put... Boombox, Foxy, Ooh, probably, I don't know. It's not very good, but it's not the worst. It does have a decent amount of slow and it has it okay. But if I'd rank it, just consider on boosters. It's one of the worst boosters in the game, I think. Like it's not up there. If I had to rank it, I'd put it there because it's not amazing, but it's not like it's that bad either. Okay, you may notice that a few units got added. I can't tell. I don't know. I have to crop it so it might not be seen, but I wanted to add a couple units mainly because I forgot about one. I forgot about Rockstar Foxy. Okay. Um, wait, is this, which one is this? Is this, I think this is Limitless Shadow. No, this is Bounded Shadow. Those students are so similar. Um, it's not horrible. It's just not very good. I'm just going to put it in C tier. Like, it's not horrible. Like, if you can get it, especially like earlier in the game, it's actually really good. But most, by the time you get it these days, especially if you're lucky enough, I don't even own this tower. But by the time you get lucky enough to get it, it's not very good. Um... Next we have Steampunk Bangle. Is that a horrible tower? Definitely not bad, but I'm going to put it in like C tier. It's pretty decent to grind for, and it, when you do grind for and you get it, it's not a horrible unit at all. So I think right in the middle of C tier is decent because it can be good for newer players because I don't think grinding those clocks is really the most difficult thing to do. Um, ooh, Circuit Breaker Freddy. I'm going to put him in D tier. By the time you get 100,000 coins, it's 100,000 coins for this guy. If you're going to have 100,000 coins, there's so many better towers you could buy. Instead of going to 100,000, you can get say for 200,000. And right now for 200,000, you can get one of the best units in the game, the King. Or just like a few weeks ago, you could get uh, Stone Trap, which was also a really already amazing for 200,000. Or you could get another great starter. There's so many better ways you could spend those coins on, except for this piece of garbage. I vote a hatred of this tower. Next, we have Clown Trap. Uh, B tier, I think. It's 
like, it's, what is it, stun? That's the word. It's not horrible. Definitely not that bad. It's up there as one of the better stuns in the game, but it's DPS is just not very good. So, yeah. Um, all the apexes are going to be probably S tier. There's not a single apex that deserves to go any farther, but um, the dark, wait, not the dark knight. Oh my goodness, that's a movie. <laughs> dark knight puppet. Oh my goodness. Really good tower. Just, I think it just kind of falls off when it comes to apexes, especially because it did like, it's, it's max hit used to 20,000 and they did a secret nerf and moved it down to 19,000, which was not necessary. I already think it may be the worst or like right there, like next to um, Gravelord, but yeah. Um, next we have Endo. Endo's, oh, I'm gonna put it B tier because at early game and for a long time, it was like a really a good like damage, boost, especially if you can get a shiny one. And for a lot of people, it is like their damage booster, but there is better out there. But overall, it's definitely not bad. Well, I'm going to put in seeds here, actually. My bad. It's not bad at all. Um, Next, we got Endo 05. I'm just going to be honest. I have no idea how to rank this guy. So I'm just going to put him B tier. He's got a decent amount of DPS. He's also got, like, I think it's a, a certain stun attack. Not horrible, but, like, it's up there as one of the better, I think, stun towers. Um, I would, honestly, compare it to, like, other... If you're going to use it for stun... It would go like down here, but because it's stun and has a decent amount of damage, it's like up here, I guess. I would, if you're going for stun, Clown Trap is going to be better than Endo 05. It's not a horrible tower. I just don't use it, and I think it's pretty forgot forgettable. Um, Goliath Endo Freddy, A tier, easy. One of the best like AoE like units in the entire game. Really good. Has kind of fallen off recently, with especially with all the different new AoE like a because there's two really good AoE like Apex units out there. It's kind of fallen off, but it's still not bad at all. Definitely A tier. I don't think it's like, I think it's still maybe in like top 10, but it's not like top five or anything. Um, Next we have Gravelord. Either, I don't know if I want to put it above ooh, or below um, Dark Knight Puppet. It's DPS is 6,000 splash. And with those summons, it can be really good. I Really, it could be either. I have no idea where to put it. I think I'm going to put it I don't know. I think I'm going to put it there because it's summons can. I now I'm going to put below. It's summons are very. It can be very good, like really good, but it's very gimmicky. You really have to have that. Like you have to have good RNG. Um, it's me. Uh, B tier. It's okay. You, I would put an A tier when it was first released because it had like 10k DPS, which was really good. But it's fallen off. It's not as good as it was anymore. But it's still a decent unit, especially because you can just play a game, maybe get a corrupt present, or just grind for 10,000 clocks, open a corrupt present, and you have a really good unit. If you're new to the game, grind for 10,000 clocks, go buy a corrupt present in the endless shop, and get yourself an It's Me because it's a good unit for new players and people who are also towards the mid game. Jackpot Freddy. Ooh, do I put him in one B or C? The thing is, Jackpot Freddy is actually a pretty decent unit. I think I'm going to put him in C. There's just so many, like, starter units now, and so many are just better than him. But overall, it's not a bad. If you if it's the, first, it's the only starter you got, then, hey, it's pretty good. Uh, Pickles, I'm going to put in S tier. Such an amazing booster. Definitely like second or first best booster in the game. Having that 50% slow basically through every single enemy. And it's able to give basically enemies like full map coverage. It's so, so good. Gotta love the tower. And it's just, mwah, I love it. Uh, Dragonaut Bonnie, uh, A tier. Definitely like top, I don't know. It's like top five, top 10. I don't know. It's somewhere between there. Like is one of the best units in the game it's really good got a ton of damage and it's like passive ability which i think like it's able to like stun a little bit and do a ton of damage it's really good overall um my brain just shut off grim foxy it's not bad i'm also gonna put in c tier it's not a horrible starter if you're the only starter that you own hey it's not too bad but overall i don't know it, it kind of falls off compared to the other starters in this game so i just don't think it's very good um what is that? Steampunk Afton? I don't know. I really don't like this tower. I'm trying to put it in D, but I think I'm going to put it right at the end of C because it's not bad. Its DPS is just kind of meh, but it does have a summon, but summons are not very reliable, so it's not really very good. It's one of the worst. It's not very good. It's one of the worst, like, 
I would say, I don't know. It's not good. I don't know how to say it other than that. I just hate, I have so much beef with this tower. So that's why I was tempted to rank it D tier, but I won't. Um, I don't even know why I added an F. I don't think I'm going to add any tower there. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. Whatever. Um, uh, what is your name? Oh my goodness. Mendo. Mendo's can be really good, but I'm going to put it in B tier. I think you'd be at the top of B tier, but I'm not ranging these based on how good they are. It has its moments where it can really save, but the thing is that people bring it and then it's not very necessary. But it has its moments, but because it only has its moments, that's why I don't think it's going to go in A tier. Definitely not S, but I think B tier is pretty good. Above average, basically. Molten Freddy, um, I'm also going to put in B tier. Good amount of damage. Um, if you're newer to the game and you've gotten through the past, you've gotten it. It's actually a decent unit. It's not, of course, all the way at the top, but it's not bad at all. I think overall it is a pretty decent unit that I do think is not the... It's not that bad. That's basically all I'm going to say. Um, I think this thing's called Master Puppeteer. It's so cool, but it's so bad. And because I have so much, you know, it's going enough. The tower should be so much better, but it's just not. It really should go in like D tier because like you have to get a nightmare and then you have to Evo it. It's still really bad, but I'm putting an F tier because I want something in F tier. So don't judge me. Um, Limitless Shadow or is this which one's which? Oh my goodness. Limitless Shadow. Not bad. I'm also going to put in C tier. You may see that both of them are both in C tier because they're both just meh. They're not very good, especially because you have to evil it. You know what? I'm actually going to put in D tier. The thing is, is that you can get lucky and you can get the, what is it? Bounded Shadow? Whatever. The, the non-evo version of it, you can get it. And it's actually okay if you're like pretty new at the game because you can just get lucky. But then you have to evo it, which means you have to grind the game. And by the time you grind the game, then it becomes worse. And I, I don't know. I just hate these evos because they should be better. Okay, um, who were you again? Okay, I was right. Dead Eye Foxy, A tier, definitely one of the best units in the game, especially because of that like a hundred percent like to like stunned enemies. Mwah, beautiful, I love the tower. I don't own it. I wish I did. Mister Can Do, Mister Can Do is not like the worst like at all, but like I don't know. I'm gonna put him in like C tier. He has his moments where like not his moments, but like. He has his times throughout playing through the game where he's not bad. It's just not the best. Not the best booster out there. But hey, if you own him and you get a shiny version and he's your best booster, eh, not too bad. Um, Next, I have... Bro, what is your name? Oh my goodness. Names are not working. Dreadbear. As I go along, I'm forgetting more names. Oh my goodness. Dreadbear. Uh, I'm putting MVT. He's not horrible. He's got like an A... I think he's got an AoE attack, which isn't horrible. And it's got like a stun. So it's not the worst, but like compared to like other one, other stun towers out there, he's a lot worse and there's a lot more better damage towers out there, but he's not horrible. He's kind of a meh, a bit mole. So I'm going to put him like a B. Music man, A tier. If you get a shiny one, best um, cooldown booster right there. So good. Beautiful. Um, not a crusher mingle. Ooh, this is a really hard one because like. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it in A tier. Yeah, A tier. I was trying to decide if I want to put an A or B, but I forget. This guy got a buff recently. He's actually got a really decent good amount of DPS. I think it's like, what, 16, some, 16 17, I don't know. It's somewhere around there. Actually, really good. Um, I think he has three placements. So, like, hey, not bad. That's a lot of, like, a lot of DPS. What I mean, there's something. Yeah. Wait, it's not 16, 17 DPS. I was like, wait, it doesn't make much sense. That's the full DPS. He does about 5,500 DPS and 16.5 full DPS. Overall, decent unit. Has its moments. Um, Night Guard, A tier. Definitely would be a high A tier. Like, second... I'd say second best, like, starter unit in the game. Really good. Um, The whole, like, what's the best starter up there? It's really, like... I don't know. It's competitive to see who's the best. But it's not horrible, I will say. It's just, like... I don't know. People are probably going to disagree, be like, it's the best, but I just don't think it is. I think there's better units. Um, Name of I'm going to put in C tier. It's got like, what, 3,333 DPS, can waste three of them, 9,999 DPS, single target. 
it can shred through bosses and high and high health enemies but at this point literally there's so many units that do splash and do that much damage or more that it's just not really worth ever using uh nightmarian um a tier really not the like best anymore but it definitely is still up there a very good aoe unit that actually is like has been always used by a lot of players and if you get your hands on one that thing can carry you through a lot of the game and stuff it's really good um oh, what is your name fortified endo 2 i believe a tier um up there as like one of the best stars in the game has like the highest dps total i think of like all like all of its placements it's got the highest like full dps it's not bad for placements pretty cheap it's pretty good only thing that's missing is like a slow that most of the other like good like starters have but it's not bad well my consequences um amazing i love him um he's literally like my favorite unit in the game ish not like one of my favorites aoe cheap to place can be used in early game i mean mid game and end game and it's just so good it's real in it's so good fun fact it says it's like instant kills it actually does 9 billion damage that's a little fun fact it might be more but like i don't know when it reeled in something that had like trillions of health that the developer spawned one time in one of my live streams it's like total damage got added increased by 9 billion each time it reeled in so like hey 9 billion ish it might be nine nine i don't know i don't care enough really good unit there's nothing more to say about it um wall bit a tier one of the best stunners maybe like yeah one of the maybe the best i don't know if it's the best it might, it's like the best stunner in the game honestly really good tower very good unit great for like endless in the new pvp mode i think it's the best stunner or like tied as best stunner for like for pvp next we have nightmare mangle Nightmare Mangle is a really cool unit, but he's just kind of falling off. I'm going to put him like B tier. He's really close to probably being in C tier. Wait, no, it's Mangle. She, he, they. I'm too tired to decide. I'm, wait, is it, is it? I don't know, because sometimes when the Nightmare units, they're like gender changes. I'm just going to shut up. They are actually like, it's really cool. I really like the unit. So like, I may be a little biased by putting it up a little bit more, but it's not a horrible unit. AoE, it's got that poison. Overall, it does a decent amount of damage. Definitely like farther down in B tier, but it's not horrible at all. Um, what is this? Oh my goodness. What's your name? Oh, well, Freddy. Um, I'm gonna put him B tier because he can become one of the best towers in the game with Evo, but he's not horrible, not bad at all. Um, just okay. Just around there, not bad at all. Um, Phantom Mangle used to be really good. Used to be at one point was, you know, the best unit in the game. So like it's in my eyes it's it has a place in my heart i don't know why i just remembered like all the way back in like season two wanting that tower so badly but everybody would get it but yeah um c tier of course it is good but it's just you know over time it fell off um entered easy a tier probably like tied or like second best the stun unit and up there for one of the highest like best dps especially with that chain effect oh my goodness i want more units with that like chain attack Please, developers, give us more. Um, Overseer, A tier. It's got a real 40% like like slow in the range and then 65% like the best slowing, I think, in like slowing unit, I think, in the game because of that. Pickles is just like right there too, because it but it's so good. That's really good. Um which one are you? Are you the Evo or normal? You're the normal. No, you're the Evo, right? All right, so President Freddy. President Freddy isn't horrible at all. I'm going to put a B tier. It's not like it's the best starter unit, but it's definitely not that bad. It's very close to being in an A tier. It's up there, I'd say, like, top 10, top 8. I don't know. Top. It's up there. It's, like, one of the best boosters in the game. Top Star Chica, A tier. Did I say booster? I meant best starter for this one. This is one of the best boosters in the game. Um, not the best, but it does have pretty good. I think it has a pretty good amount of DPS. And overall, it is very good. It's just a little expensive. That's the only issue. So I have people I like this like unit a lot, but I just really don't because it's so expensive. But whatever. Um, purple guy. 
in a B tier. He used to be so good. I remember he used to be like Tarnish versus Phone Guy versus Purple Guy, and the whichever one was best used to fight and clash. It was like this huge war, but I don't know. He's kind of just like fallen off over time by a good amount. He's not bad, but he's like right there next to President Freddy, where he might, he's like really close to being in an A tier, I believe. So yeah. Um, ooh, Plush Trap. Uh, I really don't know where to put this guy. I think I'm going to put him in probably like B tier. Not a bad unit at all. Just kind of, eh. It, it has some decent range. I think it's, is it better than Mr. Can? Wait, is it worse than Mr. Can do? Wait, Can do is a cooldown booster. I'm stupid. I think that's a good spot. B tier. Also, I realized I forgot to tower. Okay, I'm going to put this guy here because I totally forgot about it. Um... Wind up Bonnie, literally the exact same stats as a uh, Bolora, and the shiny version is like the second best cooldown booster in the game. Right behind the Music Man, very good unit. Um, only issue, it is worse than Bolora because it does have a higher, bigger hitbox, but that's not a huge issue in the game, honestly. Um, Phone Guy, ooh, I think I'm just gonna put A tier. Phone Guy used to be like the best. It's kind of fallen off. Um, it's really close to being in B tier, but I think it's, it deserves its A tier because it is still pretty good. Because it is an AOE and it's got a decent amount of slow and a pretty okay DPS. It's just, I don't know. It's not the exact best anymore, but it is up there. Um, Reactor Freddy. This is such a forgotten unit. Uh, I really don't know where to put him. I'm gonna put him B tier. He's not horrible, um, pretty close to maybe A, but he's got a pretty decent DPS and has a place in a three, so his max DPS is what, like 12,000, not horrible, but not the best, and also a rare unit, so like most of the time you won't even get your hands on it. Uh, Scott, probably C tier. He's kind of fallen off, of course, especially, but he does lead to like the uh, anima dude, but Scott's not bad, not horrible at all, but it's just, you know, again, fallen off over time. Um, next we have Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie is actually pretty good. Um, but where do I want to put Spring Bonnie? I don't know if I want to do A or B tier because like, it's pretty good, but it's not really the best. I think I'm going to put him in A tier. Um, pretty good damage booster. Like, as a single damage booster, it's like the best. It is worse than Popstar Jake, I believe in damage wise but overall it's definitely not horrible so i guess um duelist um puppet Ooh, it's just not the best i'm gonna put in c tier it has its moments where it can be okay but overall it's kind of just like eh. i will say that it is pretty close to like b tier but it's not amazing it has its moments of course and it is pretty easy to get right now with the steampunk event which will be ending this weekend you can get it so like i guess it's a good time to get it if you still can but like eh. next i have spring trap oh c tier he's just fallen off he's pretty old now but he was he used to be like the best but he's kind of just fallen off over time he's definitely not a bad unit of course but just kind of meh next we have scrap baby honestly i'm going to put him put her in b tier She's got a recent buff that does 5,000 damage and a 10 AOE, which is actually really good. Really close to being A tier. Goliath into Freddy has like 5,333 or something like that, or somewhere around there. So almost has as much damage as Goliath, just has a little bit less range. And it's pretty cheap. So it's, it could be, it's really close to being A. It's actually a really good unit. And it's in the shop. So if you have the Robux and you're in an earlier like stage person and you want it, it's not a bad unit at all. Um, overclocked, I'm gonna put it in A tier. It's not the best, but it has it definitely can be really good. Its ability to do so much damage in one shot is pretty nice. It's just I think really close to falling down to B tier. Why does it have a weird background like that? I have no idea. But overall, it's not a bad unit at all. Um, Stone Trap, I'm also gonna put it in A tier. Decent unit. Um, one of the best in the game right now. Kind of I would say like top. 10-ish maybe top 12 i don't know it is still a really good units but it does a lot of damage and it's overall pretty decent um next i have uh shadow bonnie Shadow bonnie isn't bad it's just really really old so it's just gonna go in d tier it's not the worst so it could be in c but why i put it in d is because 
it has such little range and its damage compared to other AoE units, it just falls off so much. And its range is not good. It starts with, I think, 10 range, which is so, so bad. And that's why I'm putting it in D tier. I was trying to put an F, but because it does have an Evo, it does have its moments. Um, Next, we have, what is his name? Oh my God, Scrap Trap. Scrap Trap isn't bad, actually really that bad. I'm going to put him in B tier. He's really close to probably, oh, well, hmm. I don't know. I think, where do I want to put this guy? I think I'm going to leave him in B tier. He is really good and has a decent amount of P uh, like DPS and is a really good mid game unit overall. Just okay. And I've realized something. I forgot. Duelist Puppet actually has a decent amount of damage. So I'm actually going to move Duelist Puppet, I think, up to B. But it's really close to being C. It's just, I don't think it deserves to be in that area yet. Duelist Puppet is not bad. And it actually is a pretty good mid game tower if you don't have like amazing stuff. Next, I have Galleon. I'm going to put him in B tier. Well, A. Galleon still has really good for slow. I don't know why I almost said B. Um, DPS has just fallen off. But. It does have its moments where it can be really good, of course, because of that slow. One of the best slows in the game, so yeah. Um, next we have Bucket Bob. I'm gonna put Bucket Bob in B tier. Not a horrible starter at all. I think it does a decent amount of DPS. I think it's a placement of four. Yeah, it's actually pretty close to like Phone Guy amount of DPS AOE, and it has four placements, so you can be creative with it. But it's just not the best. But you can't you you can't beat Bucket Bob. Uh. Valkyrie Chica, C tier. Valkyrie Chica is not bad, but it, she has just, you know, fallen off over time, of course, because she's an older unit, like a very old. Her DPS has definitely fallen off, but she does have a placement of four, which isn't really that bad at all. Next, uh, Tarnish. Tarnish is actually pretty good. Um, A tier. Tarnish is actually like, I feel like ever since that Kone AoE, Tarnish has kind of like risen up. Um, I would say that he's like maybe right around phone guy better than purple guy um i would say that the he's like maybe like fourth fifth best in the game pretty good overall um if you guys want me to do this but with only this like just like starter units i would love to now we have tarnished um fred bear i think this is the best starter in the game right here amazing just was added um it doesn't have the best slow and it has a pretty decent anti-region, but its DPS is actually really good. And you get like a shiny one like I have. It's beautiful. Um, next we have the King, A tier. One of the like highest DPS towers in the game. Really good overall. Um, of course, it's just gonna be an A tier. Um, next we have Valkyrie Prime, A tier. I have a lot, I hate Valkyrie Prime, not because she's bad, but because people, they love her a little too much. She's good, yes, but like, she's single target. People love her a little too much for a single target unit, but overall, she is still really good, and her, like, amount of damage she does, she got a buff, but she also got her, like, placements, decrease, whatever. She's a really good unit, but, and she can shred. She does have the highest DPS, but she can just, but she's only a single target, which really kind of sucks. Um, Helpy. Helpy is actually really good, um, especially if you can get a shiny. I think Helpy is one of the best boosters in the game, so I'm actually going to put Helpy in A tier. Very good. Um, a dual booster, very helpful, of course. Um, now we have the actual, like, the basically the Shadow Bonnie Evo, the... Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to put this guy in B tier. Uh, not a horrible unit. 3,000 AoE. It's not as good as other AoE units. Um, it's farther down on the B tier level. Um, B tier is kind of pretty, like, there's a big section where it goes from, like, actually pretty decent to pretty mid. And it's not bad enough to be in C, but it's not, I don't know, there's a, it, it, the B tier is pretty flex, 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 oh my goodness. Words. Flexible. That's what I want to say. It's pretty flexible. But I just don't think it's that good. It's okay. Um... Ooh, Security Puppet. Not a bad unit at all. I'm going to also put in B tier. It's actually pretty good, especially for people that can get through the pass. On um, It's a free unit that you can get really easily with enough grinding. And it's not that bad overall. Um, That's basically it. Uh, Red Bear. Ooh, this is a hard one. I'm also going to put... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put Fred Bear in B tier. It's going to be high B, really close to A. The only reason I did it is be thinking about A was because it's 
not very good compared to other range boosters. But the thing is about it is that it just, I don't know how to explain it. It's cheap. It's a really cheap range booster. And especially with the pickles, but like, I mean, nerf of having to go from a thousand to 1500, having such a cheap range booster that's almost as good is really good. It's very helpful. Actually, I'm going to put him A. This is this is going to probably be one of the most like people are going to argue with me about because it's so cheap. It's so, so good in the Steampunk Endless. It's what I use because I don't, I would normally use pickles and I don't really have anything else. I use a shiny boar and this guy when I ever play like um, the Endless in the new in the event right now. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's really hard. Oh, Leviathan, uh, Mango, D tier, just fallen off a lot. It's not the best unit anymore. Just, it just keeps on just getting chipped down. Like, it's getting worse and worse, of course, because the unit's getting better and better. And it's one of the first, like, nightmares ever added to the game. It was in the very, it was the nightmare in the present of the very first event. It's an old unit. I missed the summer event. Um, Eclipse Bora like best booster in the game by far it's amazing i love this unit um i don't own one i've been wanting to get a shiny one of it um it's shiny version is literally so good um it's normal version isn't as good like you're not going to use the normal one of these over like maybe like a Blora, or it really depends on what you have boosters are so complicated because there's dual ones and the placement of them changes depending on which boosters you're using so it's really complicated but definitely a nest here chronos of course nest here but i think it's between like right here i think it's like right in the middle of all the different apexes it's actually not bad since it got buffed to be like a what nuke effect which is like the only like the second unit to have that in the game but like actually decent better than the other two by a good amount but i don't think it's better than like astral or old man consequences um scarecrow foxy definitely an a tier very good unit and actually one of the best like uh stun ones out there it doesn't actually have a horrible amount of dps um also it's just such a really cool unit but because it has a good stun and amount of good amount of dps that's why it's a tier it's close i don't know it's not like it's the best it's like pretty close to being in b tier but i think it is just really good overall um mafia mafia what is it what is your name full name Fazbear Mafia, uh, B tier. It's not horrible. It got a decent amount of DPS and its spawns aren't horrible. It's just kind of fallen off over time. I remember when it was first added, it was actually like really good, but it's meh right now. Um, Glitch Puppeteer, B tier. Again, also kind of fallen off over time, but it is able to give um the, it's able to give the Overclock Puppeteer, which did I call Data Glitch Puppeteer? Whatever this thing right here, I don't know what I called it, but it is still a really good unit so i'm sorry if i call that the wrong name but overall where did i put oh yeah b tier um <laughs> it's not bad it's just kind of falling off over time of course it's still really good and it's got about amount of dps it's got a huge amount of range but it's just kind of falling off over time it's not bad um ooh, what is it marionette's puppeteer d tier not very good anymore it's an eight i think it, what does it do 800 i believe um aoe just not very good um and then, you know, having to Evo it into, like, this thing that I hate. It's such a cool unit, how it throws the scythe. I love scythes, if you can't tell. But, like, that's why I hate the unit, because it's such a cool unit, but the developers failed it. Okay, sorry, I'm getting mad. Um, Next, we have Diver Endo. Diver Endo is actually, like, pretty decent. A tier. Um, Up there is one of the best slowers in the game, actually. It has a pretty decent amount of, like, DPS overall, so really can't complain. Um, Rock and Bonnie... Ooh, I really don't know where I want to put this one. This is one of those that I'm really not sure what I want to do because it is decent. I think I'm going to put it in B tier. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no, I forgot. It got a buff recently. So it's actually decent. It's not that bad overall. Um, It's one of the best starters out there, actually, because it's got an AOE and it does a decent amount of like damage overall. It just I think it. Oh, wait, it is five placements. It has a like a pretty good full dps for an aoe starter only thing that's stopping it is it doesn't have a slow it it's actually really good having a five placement that's really good that's one of the highest placements of any tower in this entire game dang okay i'm getting distracted oh my goodness i'm an idiot i called this guy steampunk mangle 
that's what's your name oh my goodness what was i thinking this is bounty mangle still good seed placement but oh my goodness i totally forgot i was thinking that was whatever oh my goodness well i talked to basically it's an older unit it's okay but i already explained steampunk mangle c tier not a horrible unit you can still get it but it's really just not that good um but i did not realize oh my goodness okay okay i had a gladiator fox because this is actually a really new unit i'm gonna put it in c tier um it's gonna be really close to d tier but the thing is is it's actually not that bad if you were brand new to the game hop into a game of ranked hopefully win and hopefully it'll actually match you with someone your level aka a new person get one win get those 10 trophies buy a pvp present open it and you get yourself a pretty decent starter unit right away off the bat that's kind of why i put it there because it's not bad it does like what 500 dps k kono yoe i think but it's not that bad at all overall still a really decent unit um okay uh, what are you, Rockstar Foxy? I'm gonna put you a in. Trying to decide, I a tier. I think it's not bad. It's a little expensive. It's got it's a boost and it's a damage, but it's more the boost that I'm talking about. It's not bad. I forgot what it does. I think it does like a damage. It's not horrible overall, but like it's okay. It's really close to being B tier, but I think it's like top eight, ten somewhere around there. Like best boosters in the game. Oh, um, what is your name? Oh my goodness. There's so many uses in this game. I'm sorry, I can't remember it all. Super Freddy. B tier, maybe? I'm gonna put it in B tier. Really close to C, but it's just an okay unit. Um, I don't know. It's okay. Nothing special. Um, Freddy goes in the Freddy tier, of course. We love Freddy. Freddy is the starter unit. Freddy is the best unit in the game, by far. Totally. All right, but yeah, that's the entire ranking right there. Um, that was a lot i think whoo this is a long video um because there's so many units in the game and all of them are so different and they each have a different purpose that they can be used and it's so complex ranking this many is really hard imagine if i chose every single unit in the game okay i just went through and add some units we're just gonna speed run these amalgamation oops that isn't ooh, amalgamation f tier completely useless <laughs> uh this thing i forget the name uh C tier, it's okay. Uh, oh my goodness, baby, whatever your name is. Oh, A tier, got a good stun. This guy, oof, pretty bad. C tier, Club Cake Tank, F tier, Elizabeth, ooh, C tier. Ooh, super rare, not very good. C tier, this guy, B tier, this one, B tier, this one, also B tier. Into a two, not a bad starter. B tier, this one, ooh. Uh, I'm gonna put it in. I'm also gonna put it in C. Um, Rockstar, no, Rave Demon. I mean, boom, Tingle. I don't know. See your D. I'm just gonna put it in C because I don't care. Um, Crying Child got some decent slow, but it just falls off. C, Horshane Foxy. Isn't it still kind of? It's. It didn't get above. Whatever. C. This thing kind of sucks. C. Blind Eye Foxy has a, actually like the highest slow in the game, and okay. B, really close to C. This one, D, Nightmare, C, this thing, B, this, C. There. Added some more units for people because there's is a, there's so many units. And I could even add more, but I'm done. I quit. This is it. <sighs> okay. These are all, like, stuff that doesn't matter anymore. So we're going to speed around it. Ooh. Uh, C. E. Yeah. D. Which one is this? Is this the Evo? I don't know. It sucked. Freddles. Eh, C. This thing. D. This thing's okay. I'll put it in C. Bangle. Kind of sucks. This thing. Bad. This thing. I hate it. This thing. Okay. Eh, ooh. Okay. I hate it. Eh, C. Cupcake's okay. Forrester Bond is meh. This thing's okay. This thing's horrible. This thing's literally the worst in the entire game. I hate this thing so much. Uh, okay, I guess. Not bad. Um, Evo's still just as bad. With the Bonnie's just as bad. This thing with those ugly teeth, I'm putting it there because of that. Also really bad. Evo's, they just don't care. And then... Oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. This thing, eh. 
I put it in D. Wait a minute, I'm missing a tower. I don't know where my Shadow Freddy went, but I'm going to put it there. Okay, now I'm done. I don't care. I think that's every single unit in the entire game now. Those last ones, they don't really matter as much. They're kind of just crap and no one really uses them. I don't see them anymore because they suck and a lot of them are really ugly. So that's also why they kind of deserve a tier. And also a lot of them suck. Um, That's my final ranking. Stuff that really matters is S tier, the A tier, and like stuff is B tier and some of the first stuff I went. Ignore like the last couple and all these like C bought down. Of course, just ignore like F tier completely. Ignore most of D tier. I could have put like half those units in F, but I just didn't feel like it. I don't know. This is a ranking. It's really bad, but there's so many units in the game. It's really hard. But I hope I explained all the ones that actually like really matter. Um, if you want to ask some questions, join my Discord. Link in the description. But that took a long time. Um, finding out, getting all these images and uploading it here. And also like ranking them and explaining most of these. I'm done. That's basically every single Apex, Nightmare, and Secret in the game. And then a few from the other ra other rarities that are actually like decent units and then Freddy. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching all this to the end. This I spent like hour plus making this video. Oh my goodness. Did some research, did some stuff. This took a long time. It's not perfect because I'm not perfect in the game. It's units are always changing. There's buffs that I forget that exists and happen. There's just so many that's hard to rank it. So like you guys may completely disagree with me with like half or like almost every single one of these. But this is my ranking. Thank you guys so much for watching. All this at the end of this video and peace out, guys.